Hey y'all, it's Friday, Friday, Friday once again. Wow, I can't believe, my camera just kind of went, ah. anyway, I cannot believe how the last week flew by. Um, partly I think because we have been planning a vacation and we are getting ready to leave and I'm in the process today of packing up and getting ready to go. Um, but I did do my way in this morning and um, kind of disappointing results. I, I lost a total of 0 0.7 pounds last week. Um, you know, I can't really expect too much because honestly, weight loss has not been my primary focus lately. Um, I've actually felt like I've been eating so much more and I know that's natural and that is, you know, how it goes. You naturally, gradually start to eat more food and incorporate more calories and I use the Lose It app for my um, eye touch and it tells me that I'm on track with my calories. Um, but for me, you know, it's giving me 1,255 calories a day and I feel like that kind of is more of a maintenance number um, maybe that I'm looking at for the long term is sticking to around 1,200 calories a day. Um, I know like for a normal person who hasn't had gastric bypass, 1,200 calories is like the amount that you should be taking in if you're dieting and trying to lose weight. But I honestly think that for those of us who've had weight loss surgery, I really think that our um, BMRs, our basal metabolic rate slows down because we have been taking in so few calories for, you know, a year or more. And so I don't know. I think it would be really interesting sometime to go and have that tested. I don't know how they go about doing the basal metabolic. I don't know if it's like a blood test or if they hook you up to machines to test that or what. Um, if any of you guys know, I'd be interested um, to hear if you've had it done or where you can get it done or how they do it. Um, you know, there's those little things you can do on the internet where you enter in like your, your height, your weight, um, and some other various factors and it'll kind of give you like a generalized uh, BMR, but I don't trust those things because there's no like cookie cutter person that's going to fit into all those guidelines and have that as their number. So anyway, um, so 0.7 pounds last week, I will take it because like I said, I've been eating around 1200 calories a day, um, easily eating around 1200 calories a day, definitely snacking too much. I do need to cut back on that. Um, but they're healthy snacks. Like for example, um, when I stay up late, which I love to do, and when I stay up late, I like to snack, and that's like one of my major downfalls. So last night I was up late and I snacked, but what I had was um, sliced apple with like a tablespoon of almond butter um, and a few little sprinkles of coconut. And I was craving something sweet, so it did the trick, and I had the protein in there and the fiber, which I need because of, well, you know, the iron, the little issues that I've been having with the iron. Oh, the other thing that helps with the iron with the poo fetuses, if any of you others out there have this problem, drink a big old McCafe because one of those puppies will clear you right out, really. Like, that's what I do now. If I'm having a problem, you know, towards the weekend, I will get my McCafe on Saturday mornings, uh, drink as much of it as I can, and before you know it, problem solved. <laughs> so, um, probably TMI, but I thought I'd share. This is my channel, so I can share what I like. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're getting ready to go on vacation. We are heading down south to Southern Cali. Um, yay, I love it down there. We take as many vacations as possible down to Southern California because it's warm. Um, I just love it. Like, I, there's so many things to do. There's so many things going on. Um, I don't think of myself as, like, a big city girl. I'm kind of more of a country girl, but um, I love it. So... We are taking our travel trailer, we are hooking up, and we're driving down, uh, leaving early tomorrow morning, and we are going to be doing Universal Studios, which will be totally fun, because we usually do Disneyland, but my son is now 10 years old, and Disneyland is too babyish for a 10-year-old, so the tweens would rather go to Universal Studios, so that's where we're going, and Josh is bringing his teenage daughter, and her boyfriend is coming with us, and we're going to camp, and we're going to go to Universal Studios, and we're going to go shopping, and I have all kinds of other fun things planned that I am looking forward to doing. Um, I have a little bit of a cold. Inevitably, I always get sick before we travel. I don't know what it is, but I always catch something right before or during. 
um, hopefully I'm doing my best. Obviously I'm taking lots of vitamins anyway. Hopefully drinking lots of fluids, taking lots of vitamins, getting lots of rest and sunshine is going to help the cold go away faster. So, um, yeah, so we're going down to California and one thing I had planned, which unfortunately now has fallen through is that I was being considered for a reality show. Um, it was for plus size models and I am no longer being considered because I am not plus size enough. Go figure. Um, yeah, it's really strange because I, when I started this whole journey and losing the weight, um, I sort of had it in my mind that I was going to pursue an entire new career. Um, I wanted to be in the entertainment industry in some way, shape or form. No, not exotic dancing. <laughs> um, I know how some of you think, but anyway, I um, wanted to do modeling, I wanted to do acting, I wanted to do something along those lines, and I have just always associated myself, I've always thought of myself as a plus size gal, and I still think of myself as a plus size gal. I mean, I'm size 10, um, but, you know, I, I, apparently I'm not plus size enough now which puts a whole new spin on things because now I don't know what I'm going to do um, with this whole thing that I was trying to pursue here. Um, anyway, I guess that's enough of that. I don't know what else to talk about. My boyfriend gets tired of hearing about it, um, but I've just been really trying to push it because it's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do plus size modeling. I've always wanted to try acting. And I feel like, you know, now I've got some connections, I've got some opportunities, and I don't fit that mold anymore. So now i got to figure out what mold I do fit. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, anyway, so that fell through, so I won't be doing that. But you know what I am hoping? I missed out on the um, Las Vegas meet and greet, which sucks. But... I really wanted to go to that one because I wanted to have a consultation with the plastic surgeon that was there, Dr. Katzen, who has his uh, office space down in Beverly Hills. And I'm thinking since we're down there, I might try and drop in on Dr. Katzen and see if he could do a um, consultation for me because I do want to get some plastic surgery. And since I'm not plus size anymore, um, I don't know, I might as well make this body <laughs> the best it can be, right? I don't know if he can like make me curvier, like. I don't know. I don't know. So I want to talk to him about that. Um, the girls need some help. You know, I don't know about the arms. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet, just yet. But but stomach, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to try and go see Dr. Katzen. Um, also, I wanted to put this out there for any of you who are down in the Southern California area because we will be down there for about a week and uh, we will be at Universal Studios for a few days and we're just gonna be out and about like shopping and doing restaurants and stuff and like all kinds of fun things and we don't really have a schedule of you know all kinds you know the stuff that we have to do so it's kind of like we just sort of fly by the seat of our pants so any of you guys want to hook up um, that'd be cool I would love to meet you guys I know Amy SD mom we've been kind of sending messages back and forth and I'm hoping that you know we can set something up for one of those days and if any of you other people want to hook up with us, that would be really cool. Maybe we could do lunch or something. Um, send me an email to faithkp at textfree.us. That's my email address that actually sends like a text to my iPod. So I will get it instantly. But you send it like an email. So faithkp.textfree.us. And let me know where you are and what you're doing, and I'd love to get together, and we'll do, like, maybe a little mini meet and greet in Cali, Southern Cali. Yeah. So Okay, so this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it short, and I have a lot to do. I'm sort of procrastinating. I need to go get packing done. I need to go do grocery shopping. Um, uh, yeah. This isn't the fun part. The fun part is once we are on the road and moving, so now it's just a lot of work. All right, guys, I hope you are enjoying some sunshine wherever you're at, and um, maybe I'll be seeing a few of you soon, and make healthy choices. Bye.